Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Don Johnson. And I'm Terry Briggs. Here's what's happening in your city. A major renovation project continues at the city's main library. Earlier this spring, construction crews ripped up, reconfigured, and repaved the parking lot as part one of the project that will result in a major modernization of Grand Prairie's oldest public library. Crews are currently working on the north side of the building, including the children's area. The three-phase plan includes a total space remodel, remodeling of offices for staff, new furniture, and book stacks. All of the work is scheduled to be completed before the end of the summer. The remodel is redoing the ceiling tile, the uh, ceiling grid, uh, putting new carpet down, and redoing the fur down lights over here on the children's area, and it goes through the library, um, putting new can lights up. Whenever you get done, the way that side over there looks is the same way this side over here will eventually look. We are reimagining the space in terms of what the customer wants to see when they walk in, what's their greatest need, why do they, what, what do they want to come in for, what brings them in, and then also changing the products. So not only will the furniture and the book stacks look different, the products are going to look different as well, trying to uh, better match customer demand with what we offer and then even providing things they don't even know they need yet, but they do. <laughs> the part that we're doing right now, we really need done before Summer Reading Challenge starts June 1. We're not going to quite make that deadline. They are working very hard to get as close to it as, as they can. But the reality is staff created a new children's library on the south side, the side that's not under renovation. So we do have a children's library for Summer Reading Challenge. The Summer Reading Challenge will feature all kinds of events, performances, and prizes for people of every age. You can enroll at any of the city's libraries or log on to gptx.org library or call 972-237-5700. Once again, the city took time out to honor the memory of fallen soldiers by hosting its annual Memorial Day service. Due to wet conditions at Veterans Memorial Park, the service was moved next door to the Veterans Event Center. A standing room only crowd was on hand for the city's 10th anniversary service, which including the presentation of a memorial wreath and the reading of the names of every Grand Prairie service man and woman who died at war. Lynn L. Mudley, Samuel D. Dillard, We have to continue to honor them by never forgetting those who served our country, by never forgetting those who gave their lives. So let's keep doing this, but not just today. Every time you see a veteran, go up to them and tell me, thank you for the service. Meanwhile, thousands also flocked to Lone Star Park to take in the traditional Memorial Day afternoon of horse racing. That also included lots of veterans, as the track offered free admission to all military personnel. There was plenty of excitement during the 10 race card, including the $200,000 Lone Star Park handicap. But even there, the true meaning of this particular holiday was not lost. Being a veteran myself, you know, I like to, to show patriotism and, and uh, honor those that have come before us to, to provide basically what we have today and to be thankful for. Allows us to be out here enjoying this day with our family. Memorial Day is also considered the unofficial start of summer, and that means the city's four public swimming pools are now all open. The outdoor pools at the Tony Shotwell Center, McFalls Park, and Tyree Park will be open on weekends until school ends, and then will be open daily except on Tuesdays starting the second week of June. Tina Michael, number three, Michael Turner. 
professional baseball is back in Grand Prairie. And the road red the Grand Prairie Airhogs returned to Quick Trip Park for their seventh season of play in the Independent American Association of Pro Baseball with the pageantry and tradition that always makes opening night special. Several of the players are back from the team that had to win the final eight games of the regular season to make the playoffs last year. And so is manager Ricky Van Asselberg, who led the Air Hogs to the league championship in 2011. Every year I've won the four championships that I've won, we've started out one and 11, two and 12, three and nine. And the one year we started out 35 and 15, we end up not making the playoffs. So, you know, it ain't how you start, it's how you finish. So I think we'll have a good club this year. If we stay healthy, we'll be in the mix. The Airhawks will play 50 home games and ticket prices start as low as $8. And team officials say that's just one reason to come out to the ballpark this season. The food is also priced very reasonably. So you're looking at, you know, a family for, you know, less, less than $50. You can get in and you can, everybody can get a snack and something to drink. So it is a very affordable option and, and, a, and a lot of fun. It's great. It's cheap, family fun. It's, it's great baseball. and. The stadium's unbelievable and you get to intermingle with the players unlike going to a big league game. So I would say, you know, everybody should give it a shot and then, then make a decision. The 2014 regular season continues through September 1st. For tickets and schedule information, log on to airhogsbaseball.com or call 972-504-9383. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you'll join us again next time. Thank you.